Step two in creating my model of Calatrava railway station roof involves creating a roof panel. So what we will do first is start a new family and make that an adaptive component. So a generic model adaptive. And we want to have three points. I have one already placed in my template, but you will need to place all three yourself. So then we need to select the three points, make those adaptive, and then we need to join the points with, they could be reference lines or model lines, but uh, you need to make sure 3D snapping is on. So go to the first point, second one, third, and back to the beginning. And escape to deselect. Now those points have to be adaptive because they will be used for placing all three corners of this triangular roof panel. So I now select those three reference lines and create form. So create form and I want to just have a flat panel. You could give it a thickness if you wanted. And then I'm going to save that as roof panel and then I'm going to load that into step one which was the rig for an individual column. Now I'm going to place this at the lowest point of the rig and then go up to one of the points on the lower circle and then I'm going to move around one to a point on the next circle and then press escape to get out of that and then I'm going to select that and I am going to create a repeater. So when you're in an adaptive component, what is normally the array command becomes the repeat command. So I'll pick that. And it's done something that I actually don't want, but I just needed to show you that. It just repeats that pattern around the circle. So I'm going to undo that and undo that. Sorry. Too, too far. Now I'm going to place another component so that I can tell the repeater exactly what I want it to do. So I have to create a sequence. So the first point has to be the reference point. Make sure you don't snap onto the first uh, roof panel. And then what I want to do is go two points around the circle. So click there, and then two points around the top circle. So it's one, two, and then escape. Now then I pick both of those panels and repeat. Now this time, We've told Revit in advance what we want. I'm just going to make this a shaded view so we can see what's going on. So we can see that it's repeated every other segment. So now we want to put in the opposing panels in the same pattern. So we go back to create, component, pick the same point make sure it's a reference point and then go to the point of the divided path and I'm looking in the bottom left hand corner to make sure it's correct and then this time I go in the opposite direction and go to point of divided path and then I need to place another one to tell the repeat pattern what the logical sequence needs to be so the first point 
and this starts to get a little tricky but I'm going to go anti-clockwise this time pick that point and I've probably done it wrong there I have I'll just start again pick the first point point on the second now I need to go up and round and pick that point. It's kind of hard to see what you're doing, but if you spin the view around. Okay, so now I've filled in two of the segments that are missing so far. So I want to pick those two and repeat those. And now I have two repeater patterns which are kind of opposing. So I'm just going to double check that this is working parametrically. So at the moment I've got quite a large drop. So I'm going to change the perimeter drop to say 600 millimeters as a test. Click on apply. And then I'm going to change the valley drop to 1200 apply and maybe we will just change the overall height to 5 meters just to check that's working okay so now you can see that we have our structure created there